What's up, everybody? Man, uh, it's almost uh, end of August, uh, beginning of September. The year, as usual, you know, as you get older, I have a feeling that the year goes faster and faster and faster, especially when you have young kids, and uh, it's kind of amazing. But um, it's also time for reflection. I always promote uh, to always reflect where you are in life and where you came from, you know? So you should always um, take time to evaluate yourself on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis. And it allow you to, to see the progress uh, that you've done and, and if any, and if not, then you gotta recalibrate and, and change your strategy and figure out, you know, what, what the issue is and all. But, but that's what I like to do, you know, every week, you know, uh, did I achieve my goals? Um, if not, why? Same thing on a monthly basis. And yearly, I look at the whole journey uh, from January all the way to December. And I, you know, I ask myself a few questions. I ask myself, okay, where was I? Uh, in this particular example, where was I in December 2017 and where I'm at in December 2018. And, um, and I always evaluate and I always look at the progress, what area I could have improved, what area was not working well. And that's very important. It's very important for your brain, you know, because it, it tells your brain that, okay, now you're on the right path or not. If you're trying to suppress all the bad thing that happened to you and just promote the good thing, then you're missing the point. Um, and a lot of time we're running away from the problems. Instead of embracing the problem, we're trying to find a solution to fix the problem. You know, so you need to really change your mindset. Again, I talk a lot about mindset because it's everything is here first. You know, when you fix this here, everything seems to, you know, work accordingly uh, to plan. But change your mindset embrace the problem it's hard even for me it's hard man there's days man i'm down i don't want to deal with this stuff i don't want to go through stuff i don't want to deal with you know oh you low on money but you gotta make payroll uh you don't know where you're going to raise capital etc you have problem here problem that but then i have to quickly change that you know or i need to pause and for a second and Sometimes the way I deal with issues, sometimes I, when I don't want to deal with anything, I go to bed, I take a nap, I wake up, I, you know, my mind is fresh, now I attack the problem. Uh, so, so, so this is how I do. But you, you really need um, to see the progress that you have achieved uh, during the year. Because if you don't do that, you're not going to evolve and you're not going to move forward. Um, and and that, that, that's the key point, man. Um, you know, because it's, 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 it's very difficult um, to be motivated 24-7. Um, so, so that's the take on it. But, but the real issue now I want to talk about, uh, you know, body shaming people, attacking other people um, on social media and being negative and always dissing those, dissing that, uh, the, 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 the trolls and all that. But there's shaming in entrepreneurship. And, and it used to be worse back in the days, but um, I keep hearing for young men and women, well, you know, um, I want to do this. I'm really passionate about it, but my friends, my family members, you know, they, they, they're making fun of me. They say this is a dumb idea and all, and that's shaming. And a lot of time it comes from a, a bad place, but sometimes it comes from ignorance. People not knowing you know, what they're saying or the impact, the words that I'm saying can have on somebody's life. And, but they say it anyway, because that's what they believe, you know, so it's not really an attack against you, but they just don't know better. Um, and I, I want you guys to, to, to use logic or common sense. Um, and I'm being dead serious, you know. If you have a dream, you're young, you're not fully sure or confident about yourself, confident about your idea, you know, you still don't believe that you're capable of, but you believe in the idea. You believe this is what you're meant to do. You believe this is your, your dreams and goals. You need to use common sense, right? If First of all, you need to ask yourself, 
right? Whoever I'm going to talk to about my idea, my dreams, my goal, um, what have they accomplished? What have they, what have they done so far? You know, if, if they're working at a job, they've never done a business or start a, a social enterprise, social enterprise, sorry, and or any any uh, uh, venture. Why would you value that person's opinion? You value that person's opinion because it's your friends, your family member, and you look up to that person, which is normal. We always look up to people. You know, I look up to a lot of people, but. At the same time, when you ask for opinion or I, you know, about an idea, something that you're really passionate about, you need to ask yourself, what have that person accomplished? You know, you need to be tough on that person because that person can make or break your dreams. You know, so you need to ask yourself, is that person the right person to ask for opinion? Is that person knows the subject I'm trying to achieve? Uh, and if your answer is no, no, you have no business talking to that person. I love this analogy uh, that I always use, and it happens to all of us. You know, you sit at the bar. Uh, back in the days when I used to drink, you see, I used to sit at the bar with my friends. We sharing ideas and all. And you know, my friends, they broke as I was. You know, uh, back in college, they they. They st they're struggling. They can't pay their bills, and you sit he you sit at the bar with your friend drinking and asking for advice, and your friend reply and say, "Well, that's a dumb idea, man. You're not gonna make any money like this. You need to do A, B, C, and D." You know. Now, if I had common sense back then, I had a little bit, but not that much. But if I had big common sense back then, it would have been like, "Well, where are you at? Who are you to give me advice?" But you're not even following your advice. And if you were, you're still in a shitty place you are because you're sitting with me at the bar talking about how we're going to, you know, succeed and be successful and all those things. So you need to use common sense. You know, they always say to become successful, you need to find somebody who is successful and copy what they've done, you know. That's the same, but same thing. If you want to be successful, you want to achieve anything, find somebody that has achieved what you want to achieve and ask advice to that person, you know, not to the guy who's struggling just like you. He doesn't know anything better, man. So this is what I want to talk about really, entrepreneur shaming, man. This is not going to stop, you know, because we're not going to stop asking advice to the wrong people. But if you utilize common sense, if you ask yourself tough question about the person you're about to ask question to, you know, it will help you. Okay, now nah, that's don't that's not the, the right person to talk to. You need to find the right person. You need to find a mentor that has been in the trenches, that, that, that has accomplished what you're trying to accomplish. And then that individual, you know, will give you the best advice. And even then, and even then, you know, because you're not going to do exactly what that person has done. You're going to add your flavor. You know, if you're a younger generation, you're going to use the technology that is available at your particular time. They might have used it, you know, uh, they might have used some solution in their time, you know. So you're going to use your, 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 your two cents on it. And he or she might not be agreeing with you. So every time, every, even this video, every time you hear a message you hear an opinion of somebody don't take it at face value guys don't just accept it because that person uh, is is here it must be right now always always have critical thinking at all input you you receive in this brain of yours you know always dissect the information and say okay and the way you know if it's right or wrong you test it you test it on the ground you know if somebody tell you, you need to do ABC okay cool let me test and do ABC and see if it works or not but a lot of time a lot of information will you know if you use common sense will make sense for example now if you don't have any pre presence on social media you know you, you you're losing the game that's common sense you know, we have over 3 billion people on social media. You know, you can build a whole uh, portfolio profile on social media now. People making money on social media. So that's common sense. It will tell you. Yes. So 
Listen to the right person. Somebody has achieved something, number one. Number two, dissect that information that that person give you. Number three, stop listening to your friends and family, even if they mean well, unless they have achieved what you're trying to achieve. Stop asking for advice to those people. You know, that's being lazy. You just want to go to the closest person uh, to you. No, find that guy or that girl, or that woman, I should say, that has achieved what you want to achieve. And if it's going to be hard to find that person, you got to go knock on the door and ask that person, can you be my mentor? You know, because this is what I want to achieve. But you got to be serious, guys. Don't waste people's time. Time is valuable. So I hope this is um, this will give you some more input. So entrepreneurship shaming, you know, you don't take it too, too hard and, and give up on your dream. Because the worst thing you can do in life, guys, is to is to give up on your dreams.